they're an integral part of the ATP World Tour. Charged with the task of making split-second decisions that could turn a match on a single call. The job of a line judge requires the skills and patience that only a select few possess. Line calling, the public thinks it's just about vision, and it isn't about your eyesight. It's about timing and concentration, and you have to have physical well-being to do it. You, you can't be feeling tired or, or angry, or you have to be really comfortable to do a good job, so we have to take good care of them. All right, everybody. Three teams for two courts, an hour on and a half an hour off, you're gonna to have to rush on your breaks. Then we will move people around. If you don't have the, this will make now an awful crew the outside the court. Like for it to start. There are specific techniques that help you make more accurate calls. For example, if you're a spectator, you sit in the stands and you turn your head from side to side, and that is a perfect way to make an inaccurate call because when your eyes are moving, your vision is not 100% accurate. So we teach them timing and they have to watch the match a bit because they need to know when the ball is coming in their direction towards their line but they need to have their heads still and their eyes focused on the line before it arrives and the ball in the peripheral vision so they aren't surprised and it's very effective now players have the right to challenge the line judges need all the help they can get it comes in the shape of hawkeye we love hawkeye because I mean, I've been a line judge for 30 years, and you could make a brilliant call, but because of the players running and where they're standing, they see the ball come up, they don't see it land, they don't see it catch the line, and they would think that you'd missed it. And then would be the grumbling, turning to you, I can't believe you missed that ball. And it was never resolved. They, they thought they were right. We knew that we made a good call, but it didn't help the players. And now, when they have a question, they challenge. It's decided, and I tell you, five minutes later, they have no idea who called what, whether it was in or out, because they have completely forgotten about it. And that's the way it should be. They're focused on their match then, instead of feeling nervous about whether they'll get a bad call at a critical point in the match. It, it is a marvelous tool. Ultimately, the players do appreciate what the line judge brings to the court. The linesman corrected himself. The ball is good. There were some players, when they started talking about using automated line calling, who became very upset. And they said, people won't come and watch because they want to see the players scowling at the lines person or arguing with the chair umpire. I think people, spectators come for not only the sport, but the drama too. Of course, there'll always be talking points, but that's part of the joy of the sport. We only want to make right calls. If the Hawkeye corrects us, we're very happy with that because we want the calls to be right. That's our job. We aim for perfection. Of course, as humans, we don't always attain it, but we try. Next week on ATP World Tour Uncovered, a young man going places. The Moscow-born Evgeny Korolev on his rise to the top. And we hit the beach stateside, going beyond the sea and surf to uncover all the action at Del Rey. Until then, don't forget to log on to atpworldtour.com for your 24-7 breaking news. See you next week.